Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jack TV, and I'm here with the band Blue October. How are you doing today? Good, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Thanks for yeah. taking an Uber with me to the club. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. So you want to tell us a little about the band? Um, band's called Blue October. We've been together since 1995. It's a long time. We started out as a sad, uh, I guess, slow core hmm. was what it was called back in the day. And since then, I've uh, gotten a few record deals and put out music. Um, songs like Hate Me and Into the Ocean and um, and now we're still making music and we have songs like I Hope You're Happy and it's Home cool. yeah. and, um, and so we're now still touring t after 21 years and super excited about it. That's awesome. Now how do you think you guys blew up with the momentum that you've got? Um, I had a lot to do with when we used to be signed to Universal Records and the the push they put behind us and then we just kept writing good music that people liked I guess and we kept touring like all these bands I don't get it when they're like why aren't we big and I'm like why aren't you touring why aren't you touring we literally kept touring for the past 20 years we non-stop touring so now whenever we go somewhere we have a thousand to three thousand to six thousand cedar clubs filled wow. just because we kept touring and kept it interesting um, you know it's such a blessing I mean you find something you want to do for a living you freaking do it and right. my, my wife is so awesome she takes care of the kids back home while I'm out here and it's just hmm. great couldn't do it without her cool now I know you've gone through a lot of dark times and stuff and yeah. music has really helped you get out of that right? mm -hmm. yeah so you want to tell us a little about that um you know I've always dealt with depression and um, anxiety like a lot of people have in the world I just used to cover it up with a lot of drugs and alcohol and um, like for real got lost in in the drug scene for quite a while and got dropped from Universal and burned a lot of bridges that way and then the band sent me to rehab and, and I got clean and been six years clean and, and slowly built our career back up and now it's bigger well, congratulations. than oh, oh, it's all good I appreciate it should have been that way the whole time but but um, now our career is back uh, bigger than it's ever been and, it, and that's the least I could do for the band because when I was going downhill, that's their jobs, you know, and they all got kids too. So the least I could do was suit up and show up and try to kick as much ass as I could so we could get their career back in check. I don't necessarily ever want to be number one again. Um, that was insane. Um, just too much? Well, it's not too much. It's just uh, once you become number one, if you get anything less than that, it's considered a failure in the music business. Mm -hmm. And I, I just don't need that on my plate. So I'd rather stay around number 14, 15, swift in, smack them with a good song, and then come back next year and do it again and just keep touring. Yeah, you've had yeah. a bunch of songs that have hit the top 40s. So. Yeah, 12 so far. Wow. Um, but who's counting, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? I thought it was 11. So. I am. <laughs> yeah, it's 12, so I'm pretty uh, pretty excited. But I mean, I mean, like we're, we're in freaking New York City right now. Right? right? Like, how cool is Doesn't this? Doesn't get better than this. Like, this is my job, mm -hmm. to talk to cool people like you and drive around New York City and go to soundcheck at a freaking awesome club, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the best city in the world. Mm -hmm. Best city in the fucking world. Yeah, I love New York. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I could definitely tell with the new music, you're in a better place now and stuff. So you want to tell us a little about the new album? Um, I got to produce it myself. First album that I ever produced by myself. I produced uh, all the other ones, but with other people's help, because I was just nervous as hell. And this is the first one that I've gotten to take the training wheels off and and really go in and get the beats that I want and the sound of the guitar that I want and and um, really accentuate uh, uh, our violinist. He's a, such a, an amazing guy in the band. He's such a talented musician that that to get the best out of him is is the most amazing thing you can do on an album. And I never felt like a producer really fully got that out of him on any of our past albums. So instead of today, I don't really want to bar chord in anything. I just don't like bar chords right now. So I have a wall of strings that hit you instead of a big bar chord on a guitar. And it's it's really beautiful and lush and gorgeous. So, um, And it's all positive. I mean, there's some sadness on the record, but but it's like me listening to an old um, Cure album or an old Smiths album. Hmm. That's how I feel when I listen to it, at least. Hmm. You know. Just full of emotion, right? Yeah, full of emotion and romance and... Um, I mean, you could something just something you can connect with. Something, something you can connect with and give you chills and feel real good about. You know. Cool, cool. Yeah. Now uh, about the current tour, you want to tell us a little about the tour? Um, 
it's great. I mean, we're selling out venues everywhere around the country, like I said. I it's, saw that. It's, I'm just really excited. I mean, I couldn't be any happier than I am right now with how our career is going, with our crew, um, with everybody. Um, we're seeing that change in our career that it's now, I have to make sure that me as, as the, um, I guess, the leader of the band and stuff, I hate calling it that, but has to make sure that I'm always on my game and everybody's always on their game when we're mm -hmm. on the road because there's so many people involved now. Um, there's, Gotta keep everything all we played Dallas and... the other night and there were 6,000 people there. So that, that falls on this guy. Put your head in here. Say hi. Hey. He's our road manager. <laughs> you know? So it's like... Working. Like, yeah. I mean, I have to trust everybody that works for me and they have to trust me and we all have to do what's best. And for, coordinate uh, and communicate. And coordinate and communicate because you yeah. have 6,000 people there. What happens if something goes wrong? It's all our fault. You right. know? So we have to be on our A game at all times just playing 200 seater clubs anymore you know which is which is a great thing but, yeah, yeah but it can be stressful because if you got to make sure you make everybody happy mm-hmm yeah definitely so what do you, can you talk about any future plans at the moment um a documentary that we've been filming for the last six years is coming out I'm working on the new album already I have an open book show that I do when I'm off from below October that's a one-man show about recovery and getting sober and clean um, yeah, you're an author too, right? And wrote a book and working on the second one right now, and and um, I want to get into film more. Uh, I'm going to be doing some acting next year, and just mainly just trying to to to. Life is like a like a like a freaking peach for me, you know. And I'm squeezing the shit out of it, trying to get as much juice as I can out of it, because peach juice is good as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's what I'm doing with life right now, and I'm trying to to record that. And, and print it in any way possible so the world can actually see it. Just keep going with it, yeah. yeah totally. That's awesome. Yeah. So now, uh, if people want to look you up online, find your music, how do they do that? Blue October Band on Instagram, blueoctober.com, Blue October Twitter, just blue, type in Blue October and it'll pop me up. Uh, I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just every social media base? Every social media base, just Blue October. Just hit it up. Cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, it was good talking with you and look them up. Thank you so much. Woo! Right. More interviews. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You all right? Wade, you good, babe? Yeah, good. Okay.